classification is useful for predicting binary variables based on the other variables in a dataset. In this scenario, we have customer demographic data along with results from a marketing campaign. Customers who made purchases during the marketing campaign have a one value in the buy next month column, and those who did not buy have a zero value in this column. We'll use the infinite insight classification component to find the variables that best predict who will make a purchase. The infinite insight classification component has a number of features that make it easy to use. For example, this dataset has missing values in the pets and children columns. The component handles missing values automatically. It also automatically tests different algorithms to determine the best fit for the combination of variables selected and applies automatic binning of continuous variables as necessary to produce the best results. We will now go to the predict workspace to apply the infinite insight classification component against the dataset. Now we'll configure the component settings. First, we need to select the columns we want the component to consider. We will select all of the columns except for ID, which provides a unique ID for each customer, and by next month, which is the column we're trying to predict. Now we'll specify by next month as the target variable. Note that when using a binary variable as the target, the component automatically considers the least occurring value to be the target category of the variable. In this case, fewer records have a 1 in the by next month column than have a 0. In this way, the component recognizes that we're most interested in those cases where the column has a 1 value indicating a purchase. Now we'll run the analysis and view the results. In the data grid view, we can see that two additional columns have been created. The predicted column displays a 0 or 1 value, indicating whether the customer is predicted to buy or not. The probability column displays the probability of purchase as a decimal value. The summary displays an overview of the results, including the model's predictive power and predictive confidence. The predictive power of decimal 3773 is a measure of how well the model can predict the values in the buy next month column based on the other variables we selected. Although this number is not especially high, a predictive power as low as decimal 1 can be useful in some cases. The predictive confidence of decimal 9715 is an indication of how well the model will generalize to a new dataset. A confidence level of decimal 95 or above is generally considered to be reliable. The variable contributions chart shows the variables that best predict the results in the by next month column. Note that there are several variables that begin with join date, but the dataset contained only a single join date column. The infinite insight classification algorithm automatically splits date variables such as join date into a number of separate variables such as join date day of year, join date month, and join date day of month. Two of these sub variables were by far the best predictors in the dataset. The model performance chart visualizes the effectiveness of our model. The green line displays what the results would be like if the model was perfect. The blue line shows the performance of the current model. The red line displays the results of random guessing, as if no model was used. You now know how to use the Infinite Insight classification component in SAP predictive analysis. For more SAP business intelligence tutorials, visit sap.com learnbi.